Hi everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, checking in with a poppy seeding update. So, you know I usually recommend after Thanksgiving, before New Year's, as poppy seeding ideal time. This year, well, everything is turned upside down thanks to the incredibly cold weather that we had over the holidays. And a lot of those poppy seedlings that had been growing at the um, normal seeding time, like the December seeding time, suffered. Like they just straight up died. And so I've been doing experiments seeding later and I'm thrilled, 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 thrilled beyond words that I came outside today and um, I guess we're right at like 15 to 20 days from when all of these seeds were sown and I'm seeing germination on everything. So I'm just gonna quickly take you around to all of the areas that I sowed. Some of this was done right before the holiday freeze, but that didn't impact germination because, well, they were just seeds. They hadn't started growing yet. And some of these things weren't actually sown until January. So I have to say I have a huge wave of relief in step one, actually getting the poppies to germinate. Now my bigger concern and really not concern, something I'm just curious about to see if they bloom at the normal time, which is usually late April through May here in central North Carolina zone seven, or if these, because they are now sown a month later than usual, if these won't actually bloom until like late May, early June, when temperatures are likely to be very, very hot and the plants have the tendency to melt in the heat. So this is all just, I think, a great learning experience for all of us. Uh, but let me turn the camera around and show you why I have such a big, bright smile today. <laughs> so before the holiday freeze, I had fabulous germination of red seed poppies, Pepaver somniferum, and a mix of Reese poppies and California poppies, uh, Pepaver Reese and Escholtzia californica. Most of those plants died. In fact, in here, there's only a few left right here in the middle, and you can see a few California poppies scattered around, and all of the bread seed poppies died in this pot. But as you can see, literally overnight, because I checked this yesterday, the seedlings are starting to germinate. So really, really excited to see. I know that it doesn't look like much right now, but it this is how they start. They're super tiny, and that's why they have to be sown right on the surface. All right, here we are in one of the shrub borders the Carolina Garden House that we overseeded with the Cottage Garden Mix. And I'm specifically looking for poppy seedlings and we have them. So this was sown on January 13th. Today is January 30th. Really so relieved <laughs> because honestly, I was gonna give it to the weekend. And if I didn't see seedlings in here, I was gonna go ahead and pull the trigger to get this bed mulched and then over planted with perennials and, you know, ornamental grasses and carex and things. But I'm glad I didn't get too impatient because I really think this border will look incredibly beautiful with the cottage garden mix. Now I've shown you all this several times in weekly garden tours, but just to reiterate here in this herbaceous i'm calling this the pollinator pocket everybody this is all native perennials that are sort of in the pocket of the driveway and patio and i'm so glad to see a mix of the pepaver reese and the california poppies germinating really well in here so here on the south side of my house this really warm uh, microclimate here i cut back the Kufia and Justicia and did a seeding and I'm thrilled to show you again this is a mix of the California poppies and the Reese poppy I think so that might also be Pepaver somniferum and I planted it in all the open I just you know tossed the seeds down in all the open areas including in the back of the border where you can definitely see lots of tiny seedlings 
And on this side, which stays shaded because of the fence, uh, Abby and I had just tossed seeds down and again, I am finally seeing germination. I am so, so relieved. I cannot even express it. Okay, you guys, uh, I've been really disappointed with the germination rate in, in this bed right over here. I haven't really looked yet, but maybe today is the day that I will see poppies finally. I get down on my hands and knees. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, yes. Yes, oh yes. And they don't actually look that fresh, but I see Poppy here. And of course this is Larkspur. And that's probably more Larkspur. And there's some nice bigger poppies in there. And it doesn't have the density that I'm used to, but it definitely has enough that it will make a show. So here's more poppies. That's vetch. Ugh. I need to do some weeding. <laughs> now the other side of this walkway. Yes. Oh yes, I see them. I see them, you guys. Lots of poppy seedlings all over. Oh, what a joy. Oh, hot dog, you guys. This is such great news. It's amazing from one day, because I looked at all of this yesterday. It, I'm amazed at how much has popped up overnight. Wow. Hope spring really, hope really does spring eternal. <laughs> and in the weekly garden tour that I just posted two days ago, I was saying, I'm worried I didn't see any poppy germination. And look at, look at all the poppy germination. Oh my gosh. I am elated. I was really worried these beds wouldn't look like what I want them to look like for the spring open garden. And now I'm, I'm feeling like, nope, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, to see that germination. Now I know I've been showing you these for several weeks. Um, these were sown right before the holiday freeze and even more have come up. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at all that. Oh, this is just, this just makes me filled with joy. <laughs> Fantastic. And of course, compare that tininess to these self-sown ones growing right along the bottle edge. Eventually all of those tiny seedlings will develop a larger rosette. Remember, I don't thin just let the plants fight it out amongst themselves. You don't need to do that kind of tedious work. Well, everybody, I hope this poppy update will um, motivate you to get outside and check to see how your seedlings are doing. Um, I just can't say enough how, how relieved I am to see that all of these poppies have germinated. I didn't really realize how much um, each year I depend on, on these plants to make the garden really special every spring, but I do. And uh, that holiday freeze definitely uh, is something that, you know, I haven't experienced before. I, this is my 21st year of cultivating poppies in my home garden here in Central North Carolina Zone 7. And it just goes to show you that uh, well, weather is always there to give you challenges and opportunities to learn from. So I hope you'll be motivated by this. And um, well, I look forward to sharing more updates as all of these plants continue to grow. Thanks so much for watching everybody.